The Gingerbread Girl by Lisa Campbell Ernst You may remember the sad story of the gingerbread boy. He ran away from the lonely old woman who baked him, as well as many other hungry characters. His dash through life was ended in one greedy gulp by a sly fox, pretending to help him cross a river. This is a story of his younger, wiser sister. A full year had passed since the lonely old woman and the lonely old man had lost a gingerbread boy to the devious fox. They were even lonelier than before. Let's bake again, suggested the old man one morning. But what if the same thing happens, cried the old woman. I couldn't bear the loss. Let's make a girl this time and decorate her with candies. Surely a sweet little girl wouldn't run away, answered the man. So they mixed up the dough, rolled it, and cut it out. They dressed it with as many candies as they could fit, completing the cookie with an amazing hairdo made of licorice whips. She is sweet, gasped the woman as she slid the cookie sheet into the oven. While the lonely old woman and the lonely old man stood watch by the oven, they talked remembering the gingerbread boy's short life. He never should have run away. He never should have trusted that fox. As the new cookie baked, her mind woke up and she heard everything. Sweet or not, she thought, things will be different this time. When it was time for the cookie to be done, the old woman carefully, ever so carefully, cracked open the oven door to peek. BAM! Out jumped the gingerbread cookie running toward the door. The little old woman screamed, STOP! STOP! And the little old man came running. But the cookie was already out the door and headed down the same path that her brother had traveled. Here we go, whispered the gingerbread girl. The man and the woman chased after her, but she sang. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. As the gingerbread girl dashed along the path, she came to a group of farmers working in the fields. The aroma of fresh baked gingerbread caught their attention. Wait! The hungry farmer shouted and began to run after the gingerbread girl. She laughed and called. Hey farmers, don't bother. Like my brother, I'm fast. Run all you want, but I've learned from the past. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. Farther down the road, a pig came into view. As the gingerbread girl grew closer, her candy sparkled in the sunlight. The pig squealed with joy and tried to take a bite, but the gingerbread girl was too fast. She leaped over him singing, I can leap past Piggy like all of the others. This story will not end like that of my brothers. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. On down the path, she came upon an artist. A masterpiece good enough to eat. The artist whispered and reached out to scoop up the gingerbread girl. With some fancy footwork, the gingerbread girl zipped past laughing. I can outrun this artist like I outran the pig. I am one smart cookie despite this wild wig. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Farther along, the gingerbread girl passed a cow with her calf, who mooed happily. Mama, I want a cookie to go with my milk. 
But when the cow tried to catch the gingerbread girl, she soon found herself running behind, listening to the gingerbread girl call. Chase if you want. I am faster than you, although you have four feet, and I've only two. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Up ahead, a dog walker was crossing the path with three dogs. The dogs barked happily, seeing a tasty treat heading their way. But as the gingerbread girl sped past, the group was soon in line with the others, hearing, "You're joining the chase. The more, the merrier. But no one can stop me, not hound nor terrier." I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Now the path ran right past the school. The children were out for recess and feeling quite hungry. Shouts of "cookie" were heard across the playground. The gingerbread girl waved to them all as they joined the chase with their teachers, and she sang, "I know that it's snack time and you want a sweet. Come follow along, and you'll soon have a treat. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl." Finally, the gingerbread girl came to the same river her brother had tried to cross. Who should be waiting for her but that same devious fox? Hello, my pretty," crooned the fox. "I was a friend of your brother's. It looks like trouble runs in the family. Do let me help you across the river. Just jump onto my tail." The gingerbread girl shivered. Then she sang in nearly a whisper, "Do I have your promise for a safe ride to shore? You won't drop me or eat me." That's all I implore. The fox chuckled. I promise, my sweet little tibbet. And the gingerbread girl gingerly climbed onto the fox's tail. The instant the gingerbread girl climbed on, the fox dove into the water, ready for a fabulous feast. Ooh, the water is so deep. Move to my back, he insisted. Thinking this cute cookie was even dumber than her brother, anyone can tell by looking at her that she was an airhead. The gingerbread girl did what she was told. That's a good little girl, the fox said with a snicker. Oh my, the water is deeper now. Move to my head. No sooner had he spoken those words than the gingerbread girl leaped to his head. Pulling off a strand of her own leathery licorice hair, with the expertise of a ranch hand, she triple looped it around the fox's snout and tied it off with a half-hitched knot. "You're right," she whispered in the fox's ear. "I am good." The fox snarled and struggled and strained, thrashing about, but the gingerbread girl hung on, turning him back towards the crowd. Riding the fox like a bucking bronco, the gingerbread girl whisked past, singing, "He'll run and he'll run with a leap and a twirl. Come follow me. I'm the gingerbread girl." The awestruck crowd followed all the way back to the lonely old woman and the lonely old man's house. The gingerbread girl rode into the kitchen, secured the fox, jumped onto the table, and. She measured and mixed with a leap and a twirl, singing, "I'll bake you some more. I'm the gingerbread girl." The old woman and man quickly joined in to help, having a hungry, happy house full to feed. From that moment on, of course, they were never lonely again. And what of the fox? The gingerbread girl was eventually able to teach him some manners, using gingerbread crumbs for treats. Most days, you can see them riding across the countryside and hear a small voice thrifting in the breeze. We'll run and we'll run with a leap and a twirl. 
I outfox the fox. I'm the gingerbread girl. Okay, friends, that's the end of our story. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.